Now, normally at the top of the show, as you know, I would go to the news of the day, but this landmark verdict out of the federal court this afternoon has huge significance. So let's get an update today and all that's happened. I'm joined now by senior reporter Caroline Marcus. Caroline, welcome. What can you tell us about this case and the findings that came out this afternoon? Well, Peter, this is a huge landmark case, as you've already alluded to. Uh, this was 110 days of hearings. The legal costs estimated to be worth more than $25 million. A lot was riding on the decisions being handed down today. And Justice Anthony Basanko was tasked for the first time for a court with ruling on allegations of war crimes and that's why it's been called a de facto war crimes trial. In essence, he found today that some of the most serious allegations in a series of articles printed by the Nine newspaper group back in 2018 were proved to be substantially true. Among them, those most serious allegations were that Ben Robert Smith kicked an Afghan farmer off a 10-metre cliff while he was handcuffed, the fall knocking out his teeth before ordering a subordinate to shoot him dead. Uh, he also found substantially proved allegations that he'd shot an unarmed Afghan man in a Taliban compound in 2009. The man had a prosthetic leg and uh, the allegation was that Mr. Robert Smith then encouraged his soldiers to use that leg as a beer drinking vessel. But there were some allegations which were found not to have been proved. And that included allegations that he'd abused his mistress, a person known as Person 17. With respect to the alleged act of domestic violence and imputation seven and eight, I'm not satisfied that person 17's evidence is su sufficiently reliable to form the basis of a finding that the assault occurred and that imputations seven and eight are substantially true. However, I consider that the respondents have made out the defense of contextual truth with respect to those imputations. Caroline, what about her, uh, his counsel today? There was talk of appeal. Uh, they certainly asked for extensions of time and things like that in the, in the uh, judgment that I listened to this afternoon. Do we know any more? Well, yes, you're right. He did ask uh, uh, Ben Robert Smith, Barrister Arthur Moses SC, for an extension of the usual 21-day period that uh, an applicant has to lodge an appeal. He asked for more time partly because the Commonwealth Government made a last-minute bid to delay the release of the full reasons by the judge. That is because they say they want to make sure that no national security confidential information is included in those reasons. So the parties do have to wait for that to be released. We're hearing that'll be as, uh, only as late as Monday afternoon. And also the closed court decisions, which we won't have access to as media unless uh, the parties decide to allow that to be released. So all those decisions have to come in, all those rulings have to um, be poured over before they can make a decision on whether there are grounds for appeal. This is Arthur Moses outside court earlier. Huge loss for your client today. How will he be taken? Consider the lengthy judgment that his honour has delivered and look at issues relating to an appeal. Thank you. We haven't heard from Ben Robert Smith directly on today's huge decision. He wasn't at court in person to learn the judgment himself. He was pictured, however, yesterday by a hotel poolside in Bali, sunning himself. Peter? What about the journalists? Any reaction from them out of the court today? Well, you can imagine they might be feeling ecstatic, but the, the overwhelming sentiment seemed to be one of just huge relief after this long and costly court process. They were facing what could have been the country's biggest defamation payout if they lost today. Uh, we heard from a couple of the journalists, Nick McKenzie and Chris Masters, and they said today was about justice. Justice for the victims in Afghanistan as well as for the soldiers who testified against Ben Robert Smith.
Today is a day of justice. It's a day of justice for those brave men of the SAS who stood up and told the truth about who Ben Robert Smith is, a war criminal, a bully and a liar. Today is a day of some small justice for the Afghan victims of Ben Robert Smith. Now, this case will, of course, have massive ramifications for the Australian Defence Force. As I said, it's the first time we've heard allegations of war crimes be decided in any Australian court. It will also be, uh, there could also be pending the appeal, a massive financial bill for Mr Robert Smith. His legal case was partly funded by the head of Channel 7, billionaire Kerry Stokes, who has also released a statement today saying that this does not accord with the man he knows. Caroline, thank you.